OK, here you've got the compound angle formulas. What we're going to do now is to put A equal to B. So if we let A equal B, then we get sine of A plus A, which is 2A. So that's sine A cos A plus cos A sine A. Now, as you know, multiplication is commutative, so the order in which you do this doesn't matter. So cos A sine A is the same as sine A cos A. That's the same as that. So altogether, we've got 2 sine A cos A. So sine 2A is 2 sine A cos A. So that's the first double angle formula. Now we can do the same for the cosine one. Instead of writing uh, b, I'm going to write a. So I've got cos uh, a plus a, that's cos 2a, is cos a cos a, that's cos squared a, minus sine a sine a, so that's sine squared a. And that's the second double angle formula. And finally, in the tan one, I'll get tan of a plus a, so that's tan of 2a. Tan A plus tan A, so that's 2 tan A, over 1 minus tan A tan A, that's tan squared A. And that's the third double angle formula. So let's have a look at the sine of um, 120 degrees. That's the sine of 2 times 60 degrees. So uh, the sine of 120 is the sine of 2 times 60 degrees, Well, sine of 2a, remember, is 2 sine a cos a. So this is 2 sine 60 cos 60. So therefore the sine of 120 is 2 times the sine of 60 times the cosine of 60 which is root 3 over 2, because 2 divided by 2 is 1. Oh, we knew that. We knew that from the shape of the sine graph. Here's the sine graph. That angle there, if that angle there is 60, that angle there is 120. They're the same. So the sine of 60 and the sine of 120 are the same.